Nice. Coach, what was the focus of uh, the preparation for your defense going up against Aaron Rodgers this weekend? You got to try to cover everything. You know, you're not going to be able to stop Aaron Rodgers. You hope you can slow him down a little bit enough to make some plays to win the ball game. So we're trying to be disciplined. We're trying to be sound. Make sure we dot our lies and cross all our T's. Uh, we didn't get a chance to talk to you about this yesterday, but there were times in practice where Tom was kind of, you know, shaking his hand a little bit, checking on the finger. Um, how has he been holding up with that injury? He's ready to go. He's full practice. He took every throw. What's the uh, any updates on Donovan or any of those guys yet? Julio will probably be a game time decision. Uh, Donovan tried to practice some yesterday. We'll see how he feels on Sunday. I know Donovan was out there yesterday. I don't know if he was out there today. Is that back any kind? Or? Uh, well, no setback. Just, just giving them a rest and we'll see how he feels on Sunday. You've had three days to, to see Beasley now. Do you feel like if you needed him Sunday, he could go? I think he could. He's quick. He catches up to speed real fast. He understands the system. And he's played and he's got a lot of reps under him. So if we needed him, I think he'll be ready. What will be the deciding factor with Julio as to whether or not much of a play on Sunday? I mean, is his pain the issue? Is stability the issue? I know he's going to be tricky. I mean, we want him healthy. If he's not healthy, he's not going to play. It's that simple. Tom, with the GO going on IR, does this open up an opportunity for Sean Vaughn to, to get more reps? and? But what do you see from him and his progression all the way from you know training camp up now to, to week three? I think Keyshawn's had a great preseason. I think he came into camp in shape. He done all the little things. He got better in every aspect of his ball game. It'll be exciting when he gets his chance to play. Depending on game plan and what we do, depends on whether he plays more or less that week. But in the meantime, he'll work on special teams. And when he gets a shot to go in there, I expect to see the same Keyshawn I saw in preseason. Tempo is something that this offense has had a lot of success with, um, including at home and, and very difficult conditions for opposing teams. How much does that get impacted by the fact that you know you may not have uh, a number of your receivers? I don't think it gets impacted too much. You know, we got guys that's played in the system. Obviously, there's different skill sets for each guy, but the system is the system, and we're going to run it how we run it. You relied a lot on Leonard Fournette these first two games. He's had 49 touches. Um, or you won the games, that's the goal. Are you concerned about what the goal might be if you continue with that kind of workload? Not at this time. We want to get the other running back some more plays in there. But when Lenny gets going, you know, you got to feed him while he's hot. So that's kind of how the first two games have been. How has his hamstring held up throughout this? I mean, I know he's on the injury report, but he's continued to play and had a full workload. Is that something you guys have to concern yourselves with at all? No, he's been fine. Todd, you had Zion McCollum practicing in full all week. Could he go Sunday, help you on teams maybe? It's possible, you know, depending on the game plan of special teams. Obviously, we still want him to get in a little better shape, but if something happens, yeah, he could help us. Todd, can you speak to the quality of depth that defensive line with, with Nacho and Will? You know, obviously it hurts not having picks in there, but there shouldn't be too much of a drop-off at all with, you know, these caliber of players on there. Well, it's not a drop-off. It's a different style of play that we have to have. We don't have the same style of play that we would have to do if Hicks was in there with Nacho, Will, and Vita, so to speak, as well as Logan and Pat. So we'll change some things up down there and do some things differently, but we didn't. We don't expect a drop-off. Coach, you've had uh, Kate out has been away from the team in the last three days. Do you know if he could be back Sunday or if he'll miss the game? Uh, it's possible he'll be back, but if not, uh, we understand he'll be back the next day. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.